Hello guys, uh, my name is Andrew. It's me once again. All right, so uh, Render is 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 an amazing platform that helps you host uh, software after you finish building. Yeah. So basically, I use I use Render to deploy uh, project backends. Right. I use Render to deploy project backends when uh, I finish building my uh, APIs. Okay. So. Render to me is arguably one of the best uh, platforms out there for deploying APIs, for deploying your backend project when you're done. Render to me is arguably the best. Why? Why? Because of the awesome developer experience. I mean, Render, the developer experience is just so amazing. It's so smooth. It's so easy, right? So I recommend, I recommend Render for deploying any project backend that you've built. All right, so uh, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to deploy your project backend to render. You guys are going to see how easy and amazingly developer friendly the process is. The video is part of my main stack uh, tutorial series, which I'm currently teaching on YouTube. So you can check out the description, check out the description of this video. You're going to find a link to that series right you, you, you're going to find a link to that series so you can go ahead and explore that series the fact that you're going to learn something awesome from this video should really tell you how much more awesomeness you can gain if you check out the complete uh, tutorial series right so the link to the series will be in the description of this video all right guys so let's go let me show you guys how to deploy your uh rest apis to render see you in the video let's go to render.com and then this is render.com you just you just need to create an account, right? You just need to create an account. So I'm going to log in here. Am I logged in already? Okay, I'm logged in. I'll go to my dashboard. So when you create an account, you come to your dashboard. And when you come to your dashboard, what you simply do is you hit new, right? You hit new. And then you hit web service, right? And then it's going to bring out your GitHub repositories. And tell you which do you want to connect to right you basically connect your github account right so this is it youtube live and then i click connect the moment i click connect we get to this page i'm going to now do a, i'm going to say developer house project youtube i'm going to give it live l-i-v-e live build okay so select the region closest to you as well i'm going to leave it at that branch is not is not me yeah, main branch, main branch, of course, the repo is on branch. Root directory is going to be server, right? Then good runtime is Node.js. Then <clears throat> this says the command runs anytime you make a push. I do, I, I added it at the intro, right? Render gives you CI CD automatically, just like Vassel. So when you host your website on Vassel, the moment you push, automatically the changes you've made become implemented. So render does the same as well, CI CD for your back end. CI CD means continuous integration, continuous deployment. So the moment you make a push, your code automatically deploys itself. So that is CI CD for you. So uh, Vassal does the same, Render does the same as well. So uh, we want to add a command so that anytime we make anytime we make a push, that command will run. So we're going to add npm install to install any dependency we might have added to the project. Right. So the next thing we're going to now do is a start command. So remember the start command for our server, right? We had a start command for we had a start command for our dev mode, which is app node one after js, which is what we've been running here. Then node after js starts our server on the um, original um, render server. So with this, we are very much set to go. Right. Node, node after js starts our server. npm install runs anytime we make a push. And then uh, the next thing we want to add environmental variables. Remember our MongoDB and our port. So you hit this. Port isn't actually necessary. Port isn't actually necessary. So we only add our MongoDB uh, environmental variable. So uh, render keeps your variable as safe as they can. So you don't need to be afraid, right? You just don't need to be afraid. Just trust them to it. I'm not vouching for them. This is not business advice. I must add that as a disclaimer, right? But I think it's okay to trust them, your opinion, your decision to make. So add environmental variable, right? That's all we have added it. Then the next thing to do, we deploy. So hit create web service. 
it's saying okay no we don't need another one just one do and then you create web service so we don't need port they are going to automatically give us a port i think that should be ten thousand. so we just wait and hang on and wait to see uh we just hang around and wait for our app to deploy all right so good seems to be going fine everything seems to be going good let's hope let's hope let's, let's hope uh sorry let's hope everything deploys successfully without an error so once we deploy our back end here we're now going to be using the back end link this is the link this is where we're going to be making our uh this is where we're going to be making our request from the front end to right so our service is like see how it's showing just like it was showing on our local host but you know like i said they automatically give us a 10,000 ports they automatically give us a 10,000 ports i'm coming uh looks is this the logs page all right good you can see everything's running they automatically give us a 10,000 ports so render will give you this 10,000 ports if you don't add the ports so no problem just go ahead and add other variables forget about forget about adding imports if you wish you can go ahead if you need to you can as well go ahead then with that i think we have finally successfully accomplished the build of the back end of our project